don't move. Don't move. Get out of the vehicle. Now. Get on the ground. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> Yeah. You know, that's probably more realistic. Yeah. To tell you the truth, that that car would roll like that. Because I would never have been hard before people pointing guns at me for me out of the car. A, lo a lot of the felony takedowns, you'd get one vehicle in front, one in behind. Benjamin. One would like gradually slow down. The other guy would come in beside him, box him in. Once they've got him pinned, they're almost like bumping, like pounding his bumpers, basically. Yeah. Once they get him stopped, the one patrol car that was beside him pulls to the side and they extricate him from there. Right. Okay. So it's a good technique. Uh, you know, if, if you're setting up, and again, this is very unrealistic for, you know, most civilians, actually for all of them, I think. Yeah. A, a vehicle takedown. <laughs> Pretty well. But I mean, if, if you were going to do it, I mean, you need to do it right where he cannot get through whatever you set up. You know, if you're out on a, a road like this or something over the crest of a hill where as soon as he pops a hill, there's something there that he cannot get through. Whether it's a couple logs, a few cars, you know, parked you know, a few deep. Uh, just for your general information, parking a car sideways doesn't stop shit. Cars can run through that at like 15 miles an hour and push that car out. That's not there. All right. The car that's ramming, you know, there's it may bust a radiator or something, but they're still going to get down the road quite a ways, and it's going to do little to no damage to them inside. We used to practice that ramming cars all the time, running through them, and it does you, know, you can continue to run for a long time. So, we're just basically going to approach. I'm I'm just basically like holding this guy. Right. And once he moves in, I draw down. Exactly. Okay. All right, you good? When would be the appropriate time to start violence of action? Once you're up on him? Well, you don't want to it, give it, it away. It depends on the scenario. If you're law enforcement, you're probably, I'm going to take a wild guess. You guys, he, after he, a high speed pursuit, he knows we're after stop, him. Right. You were coming at him you know, very aggressively, Correct. loud and aggressive. Right. right. Right off the bat. Right. Okay. All right. So. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Hands, Don't. hand. You want to see, you know, hands. You know, keys out. Whatever the case may be. Whatever your orders are. But if you're barking orders to someone in a stressful environment, you need to make them clear and concise, very short. There's no way they can confuse it. All right. Yeah. Cool. Ready? Go. Hands. 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 Your hands. Get on. Get them out. Get them out. Get them out. Ready? Let me see your hands! 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 Don't oh, you move. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> if you pull a gun on me, I'm going to shoot yeah, you. Yeah, you should have shot me. Pop, yeah. I said pop, pop, you're dying. Okay, now go back and do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell you to drop it, I'm going to shoot you. 